we're counting down the seven world-shaking megaprojects that are transforming Turkey into a global power broker. From underwater pipelines challenging NATO, to record-breaking bridges, earthquake zone reactors, and canals threatening to rewrite international law, each entry on this list reveals a new frontier in ambition, risk, and rivalry. Some of these projects could make Turkey an energy superpower. Others are raising alarms from Brussels to Washington. But which build carries the greatest promise? And which could trigger disaster? Let's find out, starting with number seven. Number seven, the Turk Stream pipeline turns the Black Sea into a high-stakes energy corridor. This $7 billion project stretches 930 kilometers from Russia to Turkey, plunging as deep as 2,200 meters, making it the deepest offshore pipeline in the region. With a capacity of 31.5 billion cubic meters of gas per year, it delivers Russian fuel directly to Turkey and southern Europe, bypassing Ukraine entirely. Turkey collects around $500 million in annual transit fees and gains new leverage as a regional gas hub. But this pipeline also puts Ankara in a tight spot, balancing NATO membership with growing Russian dependency, all while U.S. officials threaten sanctions and warn of energy entrapment. The pipeline made Turkey a gatekeeper between East and West, but at the risk of becoming more vulnerable to Moscow than ever before. Number 6. The Akuyu nuclear plant marks Turkey's leap into nuclear energy at a staggering cost of $20 billion. Four Russian-built VEVER-1200 reactors are set to supply 4,800 megawatts, enough to cover nearly 10% of the country's electricity demand. But Akuyu isn't just about energy production. The plant sits only 140 kilometers from the East Anatolian Fault one of the world's most active seismic zones. Construction continued even after a 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck the region in 2023, raising alarms among seismologists and the European Union. Under a build-own-operate model, Russia's Rosatom will control the plant for 60 years. Turkey pays for power, but has little say over safety or operations. The promise of energy independence comes with a new kind of dependency, a Russian-owned reactor, in a quake zone that Turkey can't fully control. Number 5. East Mediterranean gas exploration has turned a stretch of sea into one of the world's most volatile energy frontiers. Beneath 200,000 square kilometers of contested waters lies an estimated 3.3 trillion cubic meters of natural gas enough to supply Turkey for half a century. Turkish drill ships, escorted by warships, have probed depths of 3,000 meters, staking claims that challenge Greece, Cyprus, Israel, and Egypt. In August 2020, the standoff nearly erupted into NATO's first internal naval clash. Turkish and Greek frigates came within meters of collision, and France dispatched an aircraft carrier. At the heart is Turkey's 2019 deal with Libya, redrawing maritime boundaries and blocking the rival East Med pipeline. The legal battle is just as fierce. Turkey never signed the UN Law of the Sea, so its claims remain unrecognized. Drilling paused in 2021 under EU pressure, but Ankara vows to restart in 2026. The Mediterranean, for a moment, stood on the brink of war over a buried fortune. Number 4. The Yavu Sultan Selim Bridge slices across the Bosporus as the world's widest suspension span. 59 meters from edge to edge, with pylons soaring 322 meters into Istanbul's skyline. Built at a cost of $3 billion, it was engineered to withstand the region's notorious earthquakes and now carries up to 135,000 vehicles each day, easing traffic that once strangled the city's north. But the bridge's impact reaches far beyond engineering. Construction cut through 6,000 hectares of Belgrade forest, a green lung for Istanbul, sparking fierce environmental opposition and igniting the 2013 Gizi Park protests, the largest wave of civil unrest in Turkey's recent history. Critics called it an ego project, a monument to unchecked ambition that traded irreplaceable nature for asphalt and steel. The bridge didn't just change how Istanbul moves. 
it became a fault line for debates over progress, heritage, and the price paid for modernity. The scars on the landscape remain, a warning that every shortcut comes with a cost. Coming to the top three, the Eurasia Tunnel threads beneath Istanbul, fusing cutting-edge engineering with the city's ancient past. This $1.3 billion project stretches 14.6 kilometers under the Bosporus, reaching a depth of 106 meters below the seabed, making it the world's deepest immersed road tunnel. Designed as a two-story passage, it now carries 120,000 vehicles each day, slicing 40 minutes off the cross-city commute and anchoring Istanbul's identity as the only metropolis straddling two continents. But the marvel of the tunnel didn't just lie in its construction. As crews bored through layers of silt and clay, they unearthed relics from 4th century Byzantine ports, forcing a halt to the dig and triggering an emergency UNESCO excavation. The archaeological rescue ballooned costs by $400 million, turning a race for modern mobility into a painstaking preservation of lost empires. Today, the tunnel stands as both a symbol of Turkey's relentless push for progress and a reminder that every step forward in Istanbul means negotiating with history. Beneath the asphalt, the city's buried past still shapes its future. In second place, Istanbul Airport stands as a monument to ambition on a staggering scale. Built for $12 billion on unstable swampland north of the city, the airport was designed to handle 200 million passengers a year, more than any other airport on Earth. Its six runways and 1.4 million square meter terminal stretch across what was once a vital green corridor. Officials claim the project has created 225,000 jobs and vaulted Turkey into the top tier of global aviation, aiming to outpace hubs like Dubai, Doha, and Frankfurt. But the cost of this transformation has been immense. To carve out space for the runways and terminals, an estimated 3.5 million trees were felled erasing one of Istanbul's last major forests and disrupting bird migration routes. The construction site, once a patchwork of wetlands and heath, was compacted with millions of tons of fill, altering water flows and exposing the region to new environmental risks. Labor activists and NGOs report that more than 50 workers died during the rush to complete the project, with hundreds more injured amid grueling conditions. Official figures remain disputed, but the stories of lost lives linger beneath the glossy surface. Since opening in 2019, the airport has yet to reach its full passenger promise, but its impact is already unmistakable. Istanbul is now a crossroads for millions, yet the price has been paid in both lives and lost nature. The airport's legacy is a warning. The pursuit of global stature can demand irreversible sacrifices. And with the next mega project looming, the stakes for Turkey's future only grow higher. And finally, in first place, Kanal Istanbul stands as Turkey's most audacious and most contested mega project. The plan is staggering a 45 kilometer canal, 25 meters deep, and 275 meters wide, slicing through the European side of Istanbul. To carve this new waterway, engineers would have to move 3.5 billion cubic meters of earth, more than the Suez and Panama canals combined. Supporters claim the canal could generate $8 billion a year in revenue and create half a million jobs, transforming Turkey's control over one of the world's busiest maritime choke points. But the real shock lies beneath the numbers. At the heart of the project is a legal gamble that could upend nearly a century of international order. The 1936 Montreux Convention governs who can sail warships and commercial vessels through the Bosporus and Dardanelles, limiting foreign navies and guaranteeing free passage. Canal Istanbul, as an artificial waterway, could let Turkey bypass these rules, charging tolls, restricting access, and gaining unprecedented leverage over Black Sea traffic. Russia has already warned that this would threaten the delicate naval balance while Western analysts see the canal as a tool for Ankara to play east against west. For the first time since World War II, the rules of who controls the gateway between Europe and Asia could be rewritten by Turkish decree. 
Yet every meter of this canal would cut through some of the world's most dangerous seismic terrain. The route crosses the North Anatolian Fault, the same tectonic line responsible for Istanbul's deadly earthquakes. Seismologists warn that removing billions of tons of earth and flooding a new channel could disturb the region's fragile crust, potentially triggering a megaquake. The canal would also disrupt the Marmara ecosystem, threatening water supplies for millions and risking saltwater intrusion into freshwater lakes. Environmentalists call it an ecological time bomb, while engineers caution that no amount of reinforcement can erase the risk of disaster in a city of 16 million. The political battle over Canal Istanbul has fractured Turkey's own leadership. Some of President Erdogan's closest allies have broken ranks, calling the project reckless and unsustainable. International banks have withdrawn financing, spooked by ballooning costs, now projected at up to $30 billion, and fierce local opposition. Since the groundbreaking ceremony in 2021, actual construction has barely moved forward. The canal remains a vision on paper, stalled by money, politics, and mounting scientific alarm. Canal Istanbul is more than an engineering challenge. It's a bet that Turkey can bend geography, law, and nature to its will. But the same canal that promises control over global trade could also deliver Istanbul's greatest catastrophe. The question remains, will ambition build a new era or trigger a disaster no invader ever managed to unleash? From the 930-kilometer Turkstream pipeline, reshaping European energy routes to the earth-shifting canal Istanbul, threatening to rewrite naval law and risk Istanbul's future, this countdown reveals how Turkey's megaprojects are pushing the boundaries of ambition, engineering, and geopolitics. Across all seven entries, a clear pattern emerges. Every project is a high-stakes gamble, trading economic growth and regional influence for deep environmental, political, or security risks. Whether it's the Russian-owned Akuyu nuclear plant in an earthquake zone, the near-NATO conflict over East Med gas, or Istanbul Airport's transformation of a swamp into a global hub at the cost of lives and forests, each ranked item is qualified by its scale, its impact, and the controversies it sparked. The list shows that Turkey's drive to become a hub between East and West, past and future, comes with consequences felt far beyond its borders. In the end, what Turkey is building isn't just infrastructure, it's a new role on the world stage, defined as much by risk as by ambition.